In this video, I'm going to show you how to use context managers in Python. We found this solution on Mike Driscoll's blog post at the URL shown here, and Mike agreed to let us create this video based on it. Let's start with the problem. You want to open a file, write to it, and then, like a good programmer, close it when you're done with it. In Python 2.4 and earlier, you would do all that explicitly, like this. Then if you wanted to read from the file, you would open it again, read the contents, and then close it again. I'll run this code just to show you how it works. You can see that it output fooey. So it wrote fooey to our foo.txt and then it read that and printed out the contents. But here's the problem. What if an exception occurs between the time you open and close the file? The file doesn't get closed and you end up with a dangling reference to the file handler. That's bad. As of Python 2.5, you can use the with statement when opening the file, like this. Nested in the with statement is all the work you want to do with that file. When your with statement ends, even if it ends as a result of an exception, the file automatically closes. Here in the first with statement, we write to the file, and in the second with statement, we read the file contents into a variable, and then we print out the results. I'll run that. Same thing. Very nice. But what's happening here? How is it working? Mike created this custom context manager to show us. Notice the datacon class has, in addition to the init method, an enter and an exit method, surrounded by double underscores. These are magic methods. The enter method runs automatically when the with statement begins, and the exit method runs when the with statement ends. In our class, the enter method connects to the database and returns the connection object. We can then do whatever we want with that connection. I'm just running a simple select query. And when the with statement is done, the exit method runs, closing the connection. I'll run this to show you how it works. You can see it just outputs the results from the query. Now, watch what happens if I move the call to fetch all outside of the with statement. This time when I run it, I get an error because the connection is already closed. In addition to the with statement, Python 2.5 added the context live module, which includes the context manager function. We can use this function to decorate our own function to turn it into a context manager, like we do with our file open function here. This works like the built in open function. The first thing it does is try to open the file in the mode we pass in. If it can open it, it yields the file object back to the caller. If it fails to open it, it errors. And whether or not it fails, it runs the finally block, printing closing file and closing the file. You can see when we run it that it works just fine. But again, if we try to do something with it after the with statement ends, let's say we try to read again, then we get an error because the file has already been closed. I hope that gives you a good understanding of how context managers work. Thanks to Mike for letting us use his posts as a basis for this video. Check out his blog at the URL shown here.